We make promises, we deliver on those promises. Welcome back to the water cooler. We're now joined by a very special guest, Tom McGinty. Pat Superfam <laughs> joining yeah. us with shades on. Welcome. Straight out of New England. Tom, yeah. how are we doing today? Yeah, it's hard to see in this light. It's good. Uh, I was waiting <laughs> over there for about 13 minutes. No, uh, no moist towelette, nothing, no coffee for me, but that's fine. I'm hey, that's reserved now. for the permanent host. Yeah, I yeah. bet it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to have a lot of trouble keeping it together <laughs> during <laughs> this segment. Right. Um, Tom, we're here to talk NFL. I know that's one of your... Yeah, I got my selling things. points yeah. right here on my notebook, so uh, let's uh, let's get at it. All right, Tom, we'll, we'll hold on one sec. got to go to Louise first on this one. I, I know, I, I understand. I guess I'm on it. Yeah, you know, right. well, we got to go to Louise. Um, was benching Eli in any way, shape, or form a good decision by Ben McAdoo and the Giants? I think people really overreacted to that. I don't think it's the biggest deal in the world. Look... The Giants are out of contention this year. They're two, a two-win team. There's nothing left to play for. Put in Geno Smith. Let him play. Like, come on. This was a horrible decision. This is shameful on the part of the Giants organization. This guy has started over 200 games for you in a row without being hurt. One of the most durable players in the NFL over the last decade. And he's won you two Super Bowls. Defense. Uh, absolutely. Let him continue the streak. You have five more weeks, like you said. Let him play. Is Geno Smith going to really emerge as the Giants' starting quarterback from these last five weeks? He's already had his chance. And Davis Webb, nothing really there either. Let Eli Manning finish what he started in this season. Uh, the Giants' organization really showed a lack of class with this decision. Uh, gentlemen, I'm a, I'm a man of numbers. Mm. Uh, I think uh, the facts don't lie. And, uh, you know, if you see a wounded animal on the street, you put it out of its misery. Uh, you look at the numbers here. Eli Manning, 14 touchdowns this season. Okay, Compare that. that to some random player, Tom Brady, and <laughs> 26 touchdowns on the season. Now, look, I, I'm, not, I'm no Aristotle, and that's more. That is more numbers. <laughs> if you're looking at Eli Manning, he's not... He's not what are Geno Smith's numbers? We, we, got those, we got those on hand? Of course not. What do, you, what do I look like, a dictionary? Come on. <laughs> look, Eli Manning is, is the human manifestation of trash. The man <laughs> lives, lives he, he thrives in a shadow, and, uh, you know, he, he looks like a smaller version of the thumb his brother is. So, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. selling point. Yeah, hmm. okay, we're going to somehow keep this... Keep this going. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Wow. We thought Absolutely. Luis was flame throwing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's good I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go toe to toe. I'm ready to go toe to toe. Yeah, yeah, you think to that's come, a hot yeah, take? That's not you. Come on the show. We're not pillow fighting here, Josh. We're not pillow fighting. <laughs> no, we're not. It's for the Commonwealth. Well, we're not to go. Trying, uh, I'm ready to go. We're, we've got we've got three more. So let's let's keep this rolling. NFL Rookie of the Year. Obviously, Alvin Kamara. He has rushing yards, uh, receiving yards. He's really the focal point of that offense. He's been incredible. Got to go with Alvin Kamara as well. He's really been the focal point of the whole offense, taking the job away from Mark Ingram, an established like veteran in that NFL team. But, uh, yeah, Kamara's awesome. the guy. Yeah. You know, Josh, you look at a guy like Derek Rivers. You know, he's uh, the first guy in the gym, last guy to leave. You don't see that kind of dedication come from anybody else but uh, Tom Brady. And... <laughs> Derek, you, you want to see that in a rookie. Mm -hmm. It shows who's, dedication. Who's Derek River? I, I know. I, I, know I saw this one coming from a mile away. Yeah. Uh, oh. From a mile away. Never it's a rookie heard. on their team. They okay. didn't have like he is, the, he is the shining north star of this league. You can see him from, from, from two miles away, Josh. Mm. Two miles. Two miles. Derek Rivers, rookie of the year. Over Alvin Kamara. Uh, yes. That is. Absolutely. I think it's a tight race. Uh, it's got to oh be close. Yeah. It's got to be close. My right. pick's <laughs> Rivers. <laughs> Pick is Rivers. Next topic. We have an answer. Luis. <laughs> yes. NFL MVP. NFL MVP. I like Carson Wentz. I got to go with Carson Wentz. He's been leading that Eagles team. Uh, coming off a bad season last season, one of the most improved players for sure, but really looked at his touchdowns, his yards, and his wins. It's hard to beat. I don't, I don't know if you can beat Carson Wentz. Russell Wilson puts the Seahawks on his back. I know it hasn't been necessarily the best season, but he's putting up the numbers. I don't think there's a player more valuable to their team. Uh, no idea who he's going to say uh, for this answer. Yeah, look, I, I flew across the country for this <laughs> show. I'm, a, I'm just a messenger of the people. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, you're coming in here, oh, he's going to say Tom Brady. Well, of course. But uh, there's always debate. If we're going to offer some mm -hmm. other names, I'd just like to throw out a few, if you don't mind. If you, mm -hmm. Trevor, if you would mind just keeping quiet. Uh, Jimmy Anderson, great season. Bobby Jones, Joe Nelson, Sandy Martinez. These names not. No, no, keep no going this down sounds okay. Is this is the this practice the squad? Mike Timlin. Practice squad. Mike Timlin had a great season. Derek Lowe. 
fantastic as well. You got Jason Veritek. He's been playing great. Red Jason Sox Veritek. Tim Wakefield. Mm. Noma Gassiapara. See him? He's playing great. This and, guy's uh, still alive? Or? These are the members of the 2004 Red Sox, gentlemen. <laughs> The 2004 Red Sox. In case you forgot, I'm here to remind you. Okay? Tom, thank you for that. You're welcome. That, that's great. Uh, definitely a great insight for the NFL MVP discussion. <laughs> yeah. I think it fits in really well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, biggest dark horse team? I got to go with my formerly San Diego Super Chargers, now the LA Chargers. Um, they started out 0-4, have now improved to 5-6. and Phillip Rivers firing on all cylinders. Um, obviously, they got Melvin Gordon... Um, Joey Bosa, Melvin Ingram, best uh, defensive pass rushers uh, in the NFL right now. Uh, one problem with that, the Chargers can't win close games. They've lost five by a touchdown or less. They're just not clutch, man. You know who is clutch? I uh, might, uh, might eat my words a little later, but the Atlanta Falcons oh, wow. are a, turning into a Super Bowl contender. They really yeah. turned a corner after their win against the Seahawks a couple weeks ago. Nice win against the Buccaneers last week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, might have just set him up with, for the alley. You know, but, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm a man of, uh, of opinions, mm -hmm. a man of a lot of things. Um, <laughs> you talk about underdogs. Mm -hmm. America loves an underdog. Sure. Take a scrappy team from New England. <laughs> Everybody, every year, they say, these aren't the guys. Mm -hmm. They don't have the pieces. Mm. Such, me, underdogs. such underdogs. Such mm. underdogs. And, uh, you know, coming out of New England, coming from the smoldering cloud of, uh, of the great Northeast, mm. you got a team like the New England Patriots. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just going to toss this in the mixing pot here. Yeah. Coming off of what? Coming off of what? You know, maybe a lawsuit here and there. <laughs> these are the guys you want on your side. Mm -hmm. These are the guys at the end of the day. I'm gonna bring you one ring. No, two two rings. No. No. Falcons not. not gonna bring you two rings. Oh, okay, <laughs> Falcons not gonna bring you two rings. No. Not after not being able to hold on to uh, what? What was that? Here it is. Here it took him oh. longer than expected. Oh, did we forget? Here it is. Here it took him longer. Did we forget? Yeah. Well, once he we, we don't we don't deflate our football five, in the city of Atlanta. We five don't. beautiful we, we rings. We don't spy on other teams. That is an open palm slap to your face. Five rings. Patriots, my pick. I've got Thanks. one quick question for you, Tom again. I got one long answer. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Um, don't mention the Oakland Red Sox. But yes. a team that's given the Patriots a little bit of trouble, maybe mm -hmm. more than any other team, yes. the Ravens. What do you think about playoff discussions for them? They're currently the number six seed. The playoffs started today in that AFC. Look, look. Given the Patriots trouble, that doesn't happen. The only other team I could see in the league that would give the Patriots a little bit of trouble. San Francisco 49ers. Oh, now you right, might ask me. Right, no. You might ask me, Thomas. <laughs> Thomas Leviticus McGinty. Thomas. Thomas Leviticus McGinty. You might say, why the 49ers? Let me tell you, there's a handsome, strapping young man taking the centerpiece of that team right now. He's a threat. He's no Tom. He's, whew, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But he's, he's handsome, he's strapping, and if Bill Belichick knows how to pick him, I got a Jimmy Garoppolo over there, <laughs> up north from here. It's going to be a threat. Jimmy G. Jimmy G. Jimmy G. There you, you like go. Well, um, what's, the, what's the Niners record? I forgot. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not as good as the Falcons. Not as, Not as good as good the Falcons. Falcons. Tom McGinty, it's yeah. been an absolute pleasure. Hey. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, of course. If, if you scurry, I want to shake your hand, Trevor. <laughs> hey, yeah. show off the Tom Brady mobility and get over to the other studio for Are You Smarter Than a Freshman? 